If you live in Mahoning County and your furnace breaks and you can't afford to fix it, the Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation may be able to help. First News reporter Samantha Bender has the details of YNDC's Emergency Home Repair Program. Her story is new at 10. Hector Melendez today showed me the new furnace in the basement of his Youngstown home. Two months ago, he and his wife found themselves in a scary situation when their furnace broke. Me and my wife had bronchitis in those two months because of the cold. We were heating up with small heaters, but it was not enough. Melendez says he contacted his insurance company when the issue arose in September. They were asking me for a lot amount of money that I didn't have. I couldn't make it. What would have cost him five to ten thousand dollars ended up being completely free, thanks to assistance from the Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation. These are things that really impact their quality of life. Housing Director Tiffany Sokol says the emergency repair program helps homeowners like Hector in Mahoning County. It also does roof replacements. They don't have heat. They need their furnace repaired or replaced. They don't have hot water. They need a hot water tank replaced. YNDC recently received a $10,000 grant from Denise to Bartolo York to aid in the critical repairs. Sokol says every dollar they receive from the community is critical to keep programs like this going. Every contribution that we receive, especially from local donors, we can use as match to then um, raise additional funds from the federal government, um, from local government. Sokol tells me last year YNDC was able to assist 221 individuals with critical emergency repairs, not including the 90 roofs it replaced. And with the cold weather right now, they have been especially prioritizing those repairs. In anticipation of the winter storm approaching our area, anyone who is low income, owns and lives in their home, and is in need of emergency repair can call the Youngstown Neighborhood Development Corporation's office to complete an application. In Youngstown, Samantha Bender, WKBN 27, First News.